Okay, so there are some really great ones today. I might have to do more than one, but the one I'm gonna I'm gonna start with here is I want to run a shop filled with shiny golden things. There are so many cool gold things in the game, and I just crafted for the first time like the gold mining car. So uh, I think we're gonna go with this. So I'm not sure how this is rolling. Okay, I've heard of Rowan before. Um, I am from Paradise Planning, Rowan. I absolutely can help you out. Don't you worry. Don't you sweat it. Uh, I'm going to take care of everything. Mango. You know, Rowan, don't you worry about that. I always do. I bring absolutely everything to all of my projects. What gold things are you wanting to highlight in particular? Okay, so keeping it simple. Gold cash register and the gold cat. Plenty of other items. Oh, you know, you're just calling it right what it is. Golden shop. All right, Rowan. Well, pretty straightforward. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with this. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to create something that you just love. Now, in terms of a location, I think since it is the goldest, I think we're going to have to go desert. And maybe we can make it like near sunset so the sky is a little golden as well. Uh, let's see, which one of these have I used the least? Oh, I haven't used a lot of the desert. Okay, since this one kind of has some interesting levels, I think we're going to go with this one, Rowan. Oh. <laughs> well, we might be able to work in some more stuff, too. Maybe that will be our second floor. Uh, Rowan will work exclusively with the two floor homes, so... Uh, we will definitely make it two floors. Maybe the first floor will be your shop, and the second floor can be uh, your workout area. We'll see. Yes, we'll head over right away. This is your new base. Thank you, thank you. You just uh, hang on to your hat, Roland. I think I'm going to do some pretty special stuff for you. What are some of the other items you're interested in? Okay, the elegant furniture, a throne, the gold toilet and bathtub. Oh, nice. I don't have the recipes for these yet. I'm guessing they're recipes, but fantastic. I just made that the other day, so that's recent. That's cool, Ro Rowan. You're giving me some things I don't have yet, so that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Lots of good gold stuff in the game, so we will be making... Oh, look at that warrior armor. Oh, we might have to put that on you. Or the gold armor. We'll, we'll decide. We'll decide. Maybe a crown. Oh, such great stuff. Such great stuff. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember having that. Wow. Some great stuff. Some great stuff indeed, Rowan. I am super excited about this. I'm really glad I picked you, even though I don't know you. I'm happy to be getting to know you. So you just give me some time and I'll see what I can come up with for you. All right, Rowan. Let's take a look at your golden shop. First of all, you are dressed perfectly with your gold warrior outfit and your golden crown. You are, I guess you are a tiger, so you're not quite king of the beasts, but you practically are, and definitely in your vacation home, you are a king of the beasts. As you can see, everything is gold on your outside. We even have some evening light here, so we're starting to see some golden sun as it's setting in the west. Uh, you've got a gold base back there, some gold roses around. Your whole home is a golden castle with a gold rose wreath on it. You have some urns on either side. I have this planking that I found that are solid gold bars from. 
that's what the scoring is. We have the golden gears in back here. We've got a phonograph playing your music. Beautiful golden seat here to just take it all in with a gold casket with some gold bars on it. Down here, right at your entrance, you have two golden samurai. If you want to hop in and have a little dip, we've got a beautiful gold bathtub out here. And if you're wondering where all this gold is coming from, Rome, there's gold in Memnar Hills. You see we have these gold, uh, these railroad cars filled with gold, and you can see some of the raw mineral going back into the hills there. So you just have a plentiful supply of this stuff. Over on this side, another gold, uh, a gold seat, as well as the golden forbidden altar with the idol on top. That is such a cool item. We have a whole row of golden knights, and then we have the King Tut uh, mask back here on top of the golden casket, and there is a golden helmet back there as well. It's kind of hidden behind the knights, but it's back there. So just incredible opulence on the outside, fit for a king such as you are, Rome. Let's go ahead and go inside. So Rowan, this is your shop proper. This is where your customers come in and shop. We have gold flooring and gold wallpaper. Over here is the instrument section. We have the golden harp, which is uh, the Virgo harp. We've got a trumpet and a saxophone, all made out of pure gold here. Uh, a golden vase here as well. Here is our weapons section where we have a golden sword, a golden samurai sword, and a golden bow and arrows, as well as your music playing on top of a uh, golden safe. Right behind that is some of our attire section. We've got a tiara as well as a small golden crown, some golden sandals, and some golden boots with a mirror here to check your look in the mirror. Here is the crown that you are sporting as well as like a Viking, golden Viking helmet, uh, another golden helmet, and a golden masquerade mask. Over on this side, some more clothing with the flapper dress, the warrior outfit you're wearing in red and gold, uh, golden armor, as well as the golden knight outfit. Another mirror here to check your look. Here in front of me are the golden animals, which include the golden dung beetle, rabbit, rabbit arowana, and turtle. Stepping back here, we have a golden watch, a pile of gold, the golden scales, a golden plate, golden candlestick, golden set of flatware, and with silverware and goblets as well, the golden cat, and this is the golden lucky cat, and this is where you get rung up the golden cash register. In the back here, we have the furniture section. We have a golden dresser with the Scorpio lamp, as well as a golden urn and golden gears above. We have the golden elegant couch. Above me is a golden sconce. We have a golden throne. Above that is the Sagittarius arrow on the wall. Then another uh, golden chair here with another sconce above. And then a golden table with a gold piggy bank, the gold elegant lamp, and the gold uh, rose wreath that we had outside as well. And lest we forget the golden candlestick, uh, sh the golden chandelier that we have above us here. So lots of wonderful gold items in your gold shop. And after I finish the tour, I think I'm going to invite some discerning customers to come to your gold shop and see what they think. Let's go upstairs. So above your golden shop, you have your living area. So also your love of gold continues up here. We can see in this corner, we have a gold vase. 
We have the elegant furniture around in this sitting area with a lovely gold uh, tray of tea. We have the Pisces lamp here. You can see that we have a door that goes out to your back patio that looks upon the desert that you're living in. If we come back here, you can see we have a gold throne where you can sit down and have a little cup of coffee or tea on uh, the, uh, is it Cancer that is the crab there? Well, whatever the astrological symbol is there for the crab, there's that little table, a lovely uh, hot bath for you to come out here and enjoy on your balcony as well. Coming back inside on this ledge, we have a gold rose, a gold plate, your picture with a gold frame, and uh, the golden lucky cat. Once again, the golden chandelier. You've got a grand piano here that did not come in gold, but I felt its opulence was appropriate, and it matched the hi-fi stereo. So we've got another one of those tables with an elegant lamp on it next to your bed where you can really relax and just enjoy all of your golden opulence. We've got your dresser with the golden candlesticks, a mirror, hi-fi stereo, and another remote lamp. Utilized a few of these uh, red rugs as well, both here and out on the deck. I wanted to find a nice big rug to go on underneath the piano, but nothing was as lovely as just seeing the gold flooring as is. All right, Rowan, well, what do you think of your golden shop? Mango, it is complete. Yes. Your power fortress is complete, man. I sure did. I sure did. You really should be impressed. <laughs> Take a look around, Ron. Yeah, I mean, look at that golden shop. Pretty cool, huh, man? Yes, the cash register was one of your musts. Wow. You really look like the king there. Looking good, Ron. Well, that is awesome. You're so very welcome, Rowan. Yes, I am going to hang out. And in fact, as I mentioned before, I'm going to bring in a few discerning customers. All right, Rowan. Well, I have brought you some very discerning clientele. You can see over here we have Diana. Uh, she is looking stunning. They are all wearing their crowns as well as their warrior outfits. They look, look, look a little more like warrior dresses on them, but uh, looking fantastic. We have Audie here looking stunning in her outfit and crown. Sorry, Audie, didn't mean to shove you. We have Blanche over here looking dynamite and the queen of the Nile herself. Anka. She, she likes to wear her crown a little bit back, a little bit jaunty in the back of her head there. But she looks amazing. Uh, she is normally a resident on my island. She's not there just now. I'm uh, having some other islanders visit. I have her amiibo, obviously, because I was able to invite her here. And so she'll be back for sure. She will be back on the island soon. But these ladies are going to really enjoy checking out your golden shop. I am just sure of it. Uh, notice that even Nico and myself have gotten into it, both of us wearing our crowns as well. I don't know that I can hang with these ladies. I mean, these are some pretty discerning customers here. Oh. Audie is helping you out by watering your golden roses. That's very impressive. You're helping out too. Well, good for you, Rowan. 
Oh, yes. I can see that Blanche was immortalizing the, uh, the day with some photos. She's striking a pose. So is Diana. They're getting themselves psyched up. They cannot wait to go into the golden shop. So let's... Oh, except Anka's decided to call safe. But <laughs> let's not make them wait any longer. These are not the kind of women that are used to being left waiting. Let's go ahead and take them into the shop. So take a look around, ladies. Not surprising, Anka is immediately eyeing the throne. I mean... She deserves it. She is the queen. She, uh, you know, she comes by it honestly. So that's fantastic. Looks like Audie is taking a look at the masquerade mask. Fantastic. That would look stunning on her. Also taking a look at the golden candlesticks. Blanche appears to be checking out uh, the other golden chair. So that's very cool. Uh, Diana is striking a pose. You know, she's, she's playing a little hard to get, but <laughs> first thing she's looking at is the sword. So watch out, people. Uh, she will be armed and dangerous. Well, Rowan, I do think your merchandise is impressive. They are really taking a close look at their items. Oh, lovely. Diana is giving the Virgo lamp a try. Uh, not the Virgo lamp, the Virgo harp a try. She's doing a beautiful job with it as well. Not surprising that that lovely fawn has some musical talent. Lovely. So both Blanche and Anka have taken a seat in some respective seating. They look fantastic. You know, it, it's important to try out the furniture before you buy. Oh, lovely. So Audie noticed that Diana was playing the harp and she decided to join in singing. That is just, you know, that's just how these ladies are. Uh, I don't know if they've met before. It's, uh, oh, striking a pose, yeah. Really trying to look tough in front of all of these discerning customers. Well, I don't think any of the, them are paying you a moment's mind. They have other things on their minds, including music and shopping. Audie looks amazing when she's striking a pose. Look at those eyes. She means business. Diana and uh, Anka just gave each other a little greeting. They have lived on my island at the same time together, so they're probably not too surprised to see each other. Yeah, not surprising to me that Anka is checking out that throne again. I'm surprised she isn't just hopping right up, right up there and trying it on for size. Nice! Audie is now playing the harp, you know? She was singing before when Diana was playing, and now she's playing herself. That's great. That's great. Looks like Blanche has gotten out a book. She's really, you know, she might be getting serious. That's the second time she sat in that uh, golden chair. She might really be considering buying it. I mean, these are some women who are serious about purchasing high quality merchandise. That is why I gave them this specific invite, Rowan. And I do not think you're going to be disappointed with these customers. Happy to see you joining in singing the tune, Rowan. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah, Anka is still eyeing that throne. It's yours, girl. I mean, I just think you should buy it. I 
Diana is considering buying the whole wall. Wow, lots of pose striking. <laughs> there goes Diana showing off her muscles. Wow. Wow. Fierce competition for the merch. Fierce. Well, interesting. The seat Anka chose to sit in is actually the golden one. Well, you know, I can't say I'm shocked. She has, oh, look at that. King and queen of the ball here. I don't know that Anka is so sure about this. She was sitting there. Rowan came up and sat with her. I don't know. I think she looks none too pleased with it. She was like, this is my throne and mine alone. She has one of these in her Giza Plateau that I've built for her on my island. And she's pretty used to, oh! And Diana is the first to sit in the throne. Wow, pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, Rowan, I really think you're gonna have some furniture sales. Yeah, yeah, Anka is blocking your path. I think she was none too pleased with you, Rowan, but... Uh, She's a class act, so she'll just uh, she'll just show off her muscles a little bit. Yeah, looking tough, looking good, Anka. Oh wow, wow, fearsome, just fearsome. Lots of posturing here in the golden shop. Lots of posturing. It's very exciting. I mean, really, we have, really, we are being graced by Animal Crossing royalty here in this room. No doubt about it. Well, Rowan, shall we let them take a look upstairs? Let's see what they think of your accommodations up here. Oh, nice. Looks like uh, Blanche and Diana are out on the patio checking things out. Perhaps considering a dip, looks like Diana gave a nod of approval. Oh yes, some more posing and posturing in here by Audie. Yeah. Love, love her eyes and her mouth when uh, when she does that. She's really, she's really got something going on. Looks like uh, Rowan uh, does not want to be left behind and is also doing some muscle poses. He isn't even entering the room. He's just <laughs> just doing his poses from the doorway. Audie's over it and is now sitting at the piano. Fantastic. Yeah, I think Diana is really liking uh, the patio. I think she totally approves of it. Really nice. Blanche is, t Blanche is checking out... The Pisces lamp, which was not available for sale uh, downstairs. So, Rowan, you may want to consider selling that to Blanche because that just might be exactly the special item she's interested in. Right, well, let's let the ladies uh, wrap up their purchases and I'll be heading out of here. So, some great purchases have been made. Oh my gosh, Rowan. Wow, Rowan is taking these poses very seriously. Well, the ladies have wrapped up their shopping, uh, just doing a little more posing and playing the harp. Wow, four out of five posing right now, and Anka cannot be bothered. She is playing her own tune. Uh, this has been a huge success. Uh, the ladies almost bought you out of your inventory. So day one, your grand opening of your golden shop has been a huge success, Rowan. Just an absolutely fabulous success. So I think my work here is done. Well, you are very welcome. I'm going to head back. All right, you take care. Later, ladies.